just some more tweets. Okay, so this is more about the Drexel shit. So, um, reading these tweets, I'm convinced that when I started going after Drexel, he started focusing on that, like, oh my god, why are you being so mean to Drexel? And that sounds familiar, it's because that's what Dick does with Vito. Anytime you criticize him and Vito uh, collectively, he just says, why are you being so mean to Vito? And Vito is like his pet retard pedophile that anytime anybody says anything bad about him, he can just say, why are you being mean to Vito? And it completely takes the heat off of him. And it feels like for a while, Riquetta was doing that with Drexel, where it's like, why are you talking, why are you talking about my poor Negro that way? And literally, literally invoking the race card before I even do it, which is shocking. That's like some, uh, uh, some speed racing shit. And then he's, he's why are you making fun of my poor Negro? Why are you being so racist? Uh, he says, I love this. I told him, no, your brain doesn't work like a normal human and you draw wrong conclusions. Here's an example. Here's an example. Your conclusions on Drex are objectively wrong. And I say, he paraphrases, you can't make me like Drexel. I don't care if you like Drexel. I know your conclusions are wrong because I used to know him. It's an example of how you used to get things wrong by being autistic. So he's not trying to make me like Drexel. He says, oh my God, no, don't like Drexel. He doesn't care. I don't care. It's literally an example. I know you have wrong. Drex is bad and you can't make me defend him or like him. Rafael, okay, here's a different example. Runs to Hugbox, or to DM to complain about how the forum treats Drexel and him. He really, he really does summarize it correctly though. Because in, in the first paragraph, because he says, no, you have a you problem, and your you problem is that you don't, you have assumed false things about Drexel. And then I correctly indicate to him that what I know about Drexel is his own words. And if what he is saying, there's there's one or two uh, realities with Drexel. Either a he um he had sex with a girl that he has known since she was thirteen under the guise of saving her from sexual slavery because for whatever reason the second that she turned 18 she was desperate for hardcore bdsm with a black man uh, which is a ridiculous story um unless he did groom her or b he made up a really awful story to look cool and the the funny thing about that is that if the truth is he made it up to look cool he can never say that. He will literally admit that it's true and just deny that it's grooming until he's blue in the face, if that's even possible for someone with melanin. Um, rather than admit that he made it up because making it up makes him look even worse because his entire identity is based around his sexual prowess. Like Drexel doesn't exist. It's just a guy that has kinky sex and is a, like a, I don't even know what you want to call him because he's, he's like MGTOW, pickup artist. I don't know what the fuck he likes to call himself, but that's like his brand. So he'll literally maintain this this story of uh, I fucked a girl that I knew and took to Disney World because I was fucking her mom at the time. And then when she turned the second that she turned 18, she wanted to fuck BBC and get into hardcore sex dungeon shit uh, with me in particular. Coincidentally, even though I didn't do anything to groom her into doing so, like he's going to have to maintain that lie if it is a lie, because he does. He'll never admit that he just made up some story about getting laid. Um. Which is my which is my point, and he basically just confirms that. Then Drexel uh, signs off. He sees that I've talked shit because Dick Masterson and says I have had an insane rant about Drexel. I've lost my mind. You can hear it in my voice. I've completely become unhinged. I'm dangling freely by a thread in the 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 torrential winds of my own uh, my own mental planes. And he says. Sh sh <clears throat> Shout out to all the homies in my corner that know this is pure BS, but because I'm me, someone find Josh Moon and tell him to DM me and I'll come on his show. Let's have a little discussion. No. Um, I have tentatively agreed to this, but I don't see the point though, because I can sum up this discussion in in um a few sentences. Hey man, how much backs you been smashing? I smashed the hardcore white girl pussy on the reg. And you hear me, dog? You feel me and shit? How much pussy you slay, bro? You is a virgin and shit. And then I'm going to say, my dude, I'm not going to tell you anything about my personal life. And he's going to say, that's what I thought. That sounds like a big old goose egg to me. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what man? What man doesn't show off the notches on their bedpost and shit? More fucking big snood. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's just going to be the most unproductive conversation ever because I'm not going to say anything. Uh, if I'm a virgin or if I've uh, had sex with a thousand different women in 20 different countries, you'll literally never know because I'm never going to tell you. Um, so I don't know if it, like I don't I don't know what the the point of the discussion would be, and if he could maybe I'll I'll make that a a a condition if he wants to talk to me. 
he has to first tell me what he wants to talk about because before then I'm not going to do it. He has to state a thesis to me, <laughs> the thesis of our argument to be discussed. Uh, someone said, I don't know too much about Nick. Nick has had him on a few times. And all I remember is that he's a free speech advocate. One time Nick showed a Drex a picture of Moon and Drex said he had soft eyes, but I don't think that would set him off, especially since it was a while ago. He says, right. And that was a troll job. Nick tricked me into dissing him. I thought it was all good fun and we went on the show. He was raised by a single mother. Was he raised by a single mother? Question mark, exclamation point. That would explain it. If I was raised by a single mother, I wouldn't be able to handle any criticism of my appearance. And I would fly off the handle three years after it fucking happens. It makes perfect sense. Drexel has figured this out. His 8,000 IQ, um, his Wakandi Wakandium unobtainium able brain, augmented brain, has discovered the root cause of my issues. Uh... Mario says, what's his deal? Why does he have a hard on for Drex? Laughing, crying emoji. He says, probably hacked my account and realized I'm smashing a chick he likes with my bull squad. He took offense to the fact that I called him a archetypal N-word. And he's went down and said, debunked it. So I'm not an N-word. I've never been to jail. Uh, and so on and so forth. But it's like, that's such like a black thing to say, man. Shit, man, he got he got that beef because I'm up in his bitch and shit, man. I'm out, I'm in that bitch's guts and shit with my 12 inch BBC, nigga. <laughs> what? Come on, can you be like more of a fucking stereotype and how you handle criticism? Um, Morel also asks, who the hell is what is null, man? This had me confused. Haha, <laughs> I never heard of this someone before refer to you as Drexel. Apparently, referring to him as Drexel is an insult to him. Like, I guess people just call him. Drex or, or or some weird like kink slave name. I really don't fucking know what they call him. But he says, only my parents and childhood friends call me Drexel. This beta is beta is neither. So he best keep my government name out of his fucking mouth. He literally says Will Smith slap. That's that, that's some of the blackest shit I've ever read. I think I, I think I hit it too. I think I nailed it. Shit, man. I'm getting darker and darker. My 3.5% is glowing today radiating in the sun got that vitamin d shit today chaos drive says is josh hating on drexel because drex has lots of sex with lots of women that sounds like a fuck boy shit right there says this dude hates himself most of all everything he says about me is pure projection so fucking typical so boring so then he says yo satino imagine this feeder fraud calling my discord a p a PUA one, something I've never done. So Josh Moon makes fun of our homie disabled cell, low class moon, slanders me. Discord is paid because public ones get reported than needed. And then he says, send, uh, in regards to someone sending him, I don't even know what this is. Uh, it says, send, send, send away. Like I said, scorched earth. And here's a picture of uh, stocking that I just talked about when. My Blockland stream. So this woman is called Stocking. They had a one-sided relationship on the Blockland forums. She is a self-admitted lollycon. This is a girl he role-played war with, but she dumped him and only tolerated him out of pity. Apparently, he constantly threatened suicide. Drex says, go, somebody find Nolan, and ask him if this is true. If so, I want to know why, A, he's such a beta, and B through Z, why he didn't kill himself. So this, this is his plan. Drex is so offended that I have taken his own words from not too long ago, something he was proud about, something he was bragging openly about, and he is going to find my Achilles heel, and he has found the shocking new information that nobody has heard about, about Blackland Forum, and he thinks that he's got me. Surely, this will be the end of Joshua Moon and Kiwi Farms. And if you're wondering, I'm not going to even address it, because I've fucking talked about it so many times, I don't even care. Um... He's posting this on his Discord... And these 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 are some some random chimp event level tweets. I love these. It says the mole on the server is going to get exposed soon. I got a feeling. Um, it says don't worry, this shit will take place on Twitter. And Sneedsbury that is about the D. Jealous. In <laughs> He's so fucking stupid. Why are they all like this? Why are they all like this? Is that literally the only thing that black people have any confidence about? That they think that their dick is bigger? And that's it. That's the only thing. They have no accomplishments, no history, no written word, not even numerals. They have nothing under their belt in the last 10,000 years of human history. So they got to go, shit, man, but our dicks is bigger. That's it. That's all they say ever. <laughs> 
Shit, man, we invented peanut butter and shit, motherfucker. <laughs> like, that's, <laughs> that's it. That's all they got. All right, I have to give an update on Drexel. I don't. I really don't even want to talk about him, but he keeps being a fat idiot. So I can't call him fat because he's he's ripped, bro. He's ripped. I can't even call him fat headed because, as you'll see, he has a very small head. What do I call him? He's just an imbecile. I know what. There is a fun word that I could call him. However, that might be against Rumble Terms of Service. So I'll just imply it instead. I'll just leave a pregnant pause and allow you to say the word in your head together, collectively. Okay, now that we're done. Drexel. So Drexel has, um, number one, he's accused me of hosting child pornography, which is false. Like, blatantly, obviously false. Because uh, obviously I'd be in fucking jail if I was doing anything illegal with all the attention that I have on me. But he's angry that I called him a groomer for having sex with a girl that he knew when she was 13 uh, and took to Disney World because that's, um, I believe, and I think a reasonable person would believe that it's very possible that he groomed her for sex because his story is that she turned 18 and then immediately said, damn, I sure do love BBC. I hear my mom talking about BBC all the time. I want to have hardcore BDSM sex with a black man that I knew when I was 13 because I'm just so addicted to it. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. As a result of his spurging out in Discord, um, he, uh, some people did some digging into uh, the chat history on his Discord because he doesn't clean it or anything. And what they found was that uh, Drexel uh, had a habit of taking pictures of random women and these are like obvious creep shots too because like the the women aren't even like in focus they're like on the edges of the screen so he's like holding his phone you can see this in your head he's like holding his phone in his hands and then like angling it just enough that the woman is in the picture so he can take a, a picture of it and then he's posting that so he's not even like holding it up taking a picture of them he's like finagling the phone in his hand to be as discreet as possible Super, super fucking creepy. And even though I, again, I do not encourage people to do anything, obviously someone is going to send this to the gym because there's another picture of him where uh, he's in the bathroom. Oh, God, where's I need the original of this picture because it's ridiculous. He, he got offended, by the way, and he said that this picture isn't like him. So this guy uh, drew this picture instead, which is much more like him because there's a picture of him where his eyes are like pointing in different directions and shit. Um, I guess I'm not a full version of that photo because it, it's really important. Oh, this guy found the gym because the gym has a really recon about, not recognizable shower room. Um, wish my internet wasn't so fucking slow. How do I do a stream when I have no internet? Give me a second. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. Well, can I like zoom in? You can just see in the picture vaguely that like, his head is like way too small for his fucking body. It led people to think that he's like photoshopped it but he hasn't he just has a small small head with a small brain with no wrinkles on it and no thinking because thinking is hurting and he's trying to impress people by saying look i have a physique therefore i have confidence i don't know if someone like him were because this is the bizarre thing it's like i'm always shocked by what things i say really set people off and really piss them off and get them all like huffed up about uh, and, and indignant. And it's like, if you really are like a super Chad, giga Chad fucking um, pickup artist guy. Oh, he doesn't call himself a pickup artist. He calls himself MGTOW because he's MGTOW. So theoretically, you should have, you should exude confidence, right? You should be very comfortable in who you are and what you do. And he just doesn't. He, he, he um he gets pissed off over me just saying what is obvious if you have sex with a girl that you knew when she was 13 even if she's an adult now that is that really lends itself to an accusation of grooming because someone at that age like 
when you have exposure to them and you build up trust with them, that is the actual definition of it. I, I, I don't even feel I have to explain it, but he's super pissed off about it. And it's like, okay, well, if you don't, if you're not ashamed of this, why do you take such great offense to it? And he copes about, oh, this is the picture of, um, of his fish eyes that that guy had drawn. It's actually pretty great. The, uh, the caricature of it. You can't say that this isn't on point. That's pretty good. In fact, he made his head a little bit narrower, but that's a, but that's like a, you know, even drew like how the, the, the refraction, how the, the glasses distort the vision. That's, that's excellent. What a great point. What a great artist. So he tries to make himself out to be like a huge pickup artist and, or <laughs> you'd saying that because it's the same thing in my mind. It's like, he's a, he's a confidence man, like a literal confidence man where his whole shtick is that he's confident in himself. He knows how to go his own way. He don't need no bitch. He's so good at, um, at, at, uh, picking up women and he can teach people. Sorry, I'm looking for photos. I'm stopping my speech. This is the picture. Sorry, ignore the picture of um, whatever the fuck that is. A big smoke from GTA 4. That's the picture where I'm like, this dude's head does not like fit soundly on his body. But obviously, my dude is buff. So therefore, when someone calls him a groomer on the internet, he should not lose his fucking shit right over it. Right? If he is a man who has gone his own way. And don't need no bitch and actually can smash all the boxes in the world. In fact, he smashes eight boxes a day. He does goes to interracial gangbangs. In fact, people pay him to fuck his their wives because he is such an attractive and confident person uh, that people would obviously give him money for the privilege of being fucked by him. Uh, then surely the soft eyed, the soft eyed uh, musings of a forum owner should not call into question his masculinity or his self confidence, right? So this is my question then, right? This guy, he's so cool. He's so cool that people hang on to his every word. Please, Drex. Please. Or, uh, sorry, they call him Drex. I, I forget. He gets upset when I call him Drex. I said, please, Drex, MGTOW champion, mayor of MGTOW, impart me wisdom to how to get the finest women. I would like, uh, I would like a hoe, Mr. Drex. Could you please inform me on how to smash box? And then he's like, don't worry, my dude. I got you hooked up. This is the type of hoe that you will be able to smash if you are, um, if you follow my wisdom. And you might be wondering, who is this hoe? Who is this slatternly woman? This is the mother of his child. From what I understand, he impregnated this woman. And now she is, what, do, she is like, when you like person, like when guys on 4chan on poll talk about women and how the West can't be saved, this is the type of woman that they describe. Blacked, goes to clubs, looks like shit, gets knocked up, just doesn't have any self-respect whatsoever. And then uh, you realize that this is the person that Drexel decided to impregnate and has been in a nasty custody battle with for years. Uh, and from what I understand, has no involvement in his own child's life. So being the mayor of Midtown and being super buff and being super confident and ha having all the answers to everything. Uh, gets you half a family that you're not a part of with a disgusting woman uh, who is viscerally repulsive to any normal white person. And, like, apparently that's just what it gets you. That's what all that wisdom and confidence and, and bulking. This dude works out every day and takes steroids uh, so that he can have a little head on top of a big body. And it earns him literally nothing of value. And this is the kind of person, like, Drex... And Dick, both tell me, oh man, we could totally help you get women. We can obviously, we can tell just by the fact that you don't like us, that you may have issues with women. And trust me, if you just talk to us, well, man, we'll line up all the best girls for you. And it's like, I've seen the women that you're with and I would not want to be with them. Even if I was like, uh, even if I was a virgin and I was super desperate, I would still look at this and think, nah, pass, bro pass i don't need to dip my stick into a fucking uh a, a dumpy coal burner i think i can do a little bit better if i just hold out and it's like i <laughs> even in a desperate situation i don't think that you have any knowledge to impart me with um for the purpose of smashing box so that's one thing the other thing is that um like 
what kind of box is a good question because as i've shown exhibit a drex had a really bad relationship with a woman right and it fucked up his whole life he got kids out there man he got them kids and he don't even get to see his kids because that hoe that evil white woman that white woman took his kids and now the coat system you know how you know how them liberal coats is man they're always keeping a nigga down they're always saying you gotta pay child support you gotta do this and that and they don't even let you see your kids at the end because it's all slanted towards women and feminism and fucking feminism man you know what you, you fucking know the rigmarole you know what they say so drexel has ascended he has truly gone his own way imagine mr manhattan floating up off the ground and he says, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to elevate myself from, from womanhood as a whole. I'm going to find something better than woman. I am going to find a man dressed as a woman. And so, uh, someone remembered that Drexel many podcasts ago on the Nick Arcata thing or on his own thing talked about how he supports trans women and would, uh, find some trans women attractive. Which leads people into wondering, you know, the African-American culture in the United States does have a rich history of supporting the LGBTQIAP plus chat. Maybe Drexel himself is a supporter and an ally, question mark, exclamation point, inner bang. Uh, and sure enough, Drexel has been hitting it off with a young woman chat. Uh, the real Drex says, I was thinking the same thing. How could anyone be afraid of these dachshund incel autistic losers? And then Russ, Russ Diesel says, doxing incel autistic losers. These soy boys have probably never lifted a weight in their lives. You know what, though? You should keep that pic and put it in a meme where you're hanging out with Pepe. That shit would trip out. This led people into finding Heron of Alexandria. Let us dig deeper into this person. Uh, those are the, those who don't just see me as a fetish. Send me anonymous messages. What type do you go for when it comes to women asking for a friend? Russ Diesel says, I think you're pretty awesome. Well, here's Heron into nerdy stuff in history. Trans, 2,500 followers. But how does this relate to Drexel? Maybe it's an associate and associate. We cannot judge too quickly. Uh, Dr Drexel posting his ripped physique, complaining that that picture does not look like him, which to be fair, it doesn't because the head is too big. Um, says, hey, Josh Moon, get your incel armored army to draw me better before and after I bust my kids on your mom's face. Pshh. Show your face and body, KF suckers. To which Heron of Alexandria post Traname, like literal Traname. If you were to if you were to feed the word Traname into a machine learning thing, that is what it would come up with. Like this hypersexualized, like femboy shit. Heron legs on says, Oh my god, a ripped black man built for BBC. And then Drex replies says, Ha ha ha, damn it, Heron, XXX stuff here. Keep them closed. See no evil monkey face. Heron replies with more Traname, and Drex responds with a winky face, which as someone who has studied the MGTOW movement, I know that that winky face is a keep it casual, but op keep the door open for sexual stuff. I know what that, I know what that means. Let's see how this progresses. Uh, Heron posts in what appears to be a bulge pick and a, uh, a war hammer says some pics. You, oh, some of you wanted to see my war hammer. So this is a penis joke. Um, and then Dex replies directly to this, where he's hinting that he's going to show his cock. He says, don't hurt nobody, but if you do, asking for dick pics. Hammer is good for self-defense. And he says, yeah, buddy, I don't know if this is like a non sequitur between two low IQ people. Uh, this is a nude picture of the Troon. Drex replies directly to this. Says, what the fuck? Everyone says you can't post corn hub stuff on here. Ooh, I'm going to report you. JK tongue emoji. More Traname. And then he says, ha ha ha. This one, he's tucked and posted a banana over his penis and says, shush, banana. Drex again, oh, this is what the, the nude image was. Okay, so this is what he's replying to, this banana picture. This is safe for work, by the way. Uh, what if I made you these, and these appear to be, I don't know, there's a word for this, I forget it, though. He says, uh, love emoji, redemption is possible. Everyone wants my sweet roll. And he says, get your mind out of the gutter. Love to bake and glaze sweet rolls. And then there's more Traname here. Direct response says, another, is this another mind in the gutter comment or? And then there's more Traname as the Troon flutes, flirts back, perhaps. 
Bun Bun, Blue Bun is nasty. Hope your GF preemptively spanks you for your blasphemous food choices. Joke's on you, I'm into that shit. This one is not Tranime uh, for the first time, which is a bit shocking. Uh, Drex also responds with more emojis. So this is, goes on and on and on. This one has a go to horny jail thing. So he posts an outfit of a costume. So it has go to horny jail, and then there's more Tranime memes. And then Drex replies saying, okay, please, Heron. My point is, as I have demonstrated, is that the mayor of Migtown, who would like to persuade young men that he has the answers to picking up women, women that he admittedly hates because he fucks white trash, um, has converted to men. He has decided that he is going to get super ripped and he is going to smash box. And the box that he has declined to smash is, uh, is mailbox with a dress on. Because he's into that shit, I guess. And I want to uh, comment on something. It's perfectly fine, obviously, to take care of your body. There is absolutely nothing wrong with being physically active and being interested in your health and being invested in your body. Your body is a temple, right? Doesn't Jesus say that? So therefore, it is our imperative to be in good health to the best of our ability. However, yet, vanity is a sin. And I've noticed that those of us who are the most interested in our outward physical appearance are gay. Because this is shit that gay men's into. They're into super buff dudes who are not nice to touch, that they're feeling like bricks because they got muscles at fucking everywhere. As long as the, the aesthetic is right, it gets gay men off. Women have no use for this. As long as you can provide support and security, they're fine with it. As long as you're not, like, obviously, like, disgusting. If you, the bar for women is very low. If you can wipe your ass and touch your toes, you're in good enough uh, uh, physical and, and sanitary condition for almost any woman on the planet. Gay men, on the other hand, are some of the most judgmental bitches on the planet. They will rip your physique apart. They will obsess over, over going otter mode and shit. It's a very gay thing to do. So, it would be defamation for me to, by the way, call a straight man gay. Um, so, in the interest of avoiding, because this man has threatened to sue me over being called a groomer, even though he had sex with a girl that he knew when she was 13, took to Disneyland, uh, which could, and in a relationship, by the way, I forgot to even mention this the first time I talked about this or any subsequent time. Um, I didn't mention how he got cut off from those two girls because when the mom found out uh, through on accident because she looked at her iCloud backups and saw that her daughter had been sexting Drexel when the mom found out that he had been doing this to her daughter and they've already had a sexual relationship. And years later, her daughters that, she, that knew him when she was 13 is fucking this guy. Uh, she got super pissed off and cut off contact with both of them. That's how that story ended when mommy found out. So this was like a relationship that happened without the mom even knowing, which is even skeevier and lends itself more to being a grooming thing because we know how, how these people fucking operate. So I feel, I, I felt a hundred percent in the right. I would defend it in the court of law. Easy. I would go before a jury and say, I'm a hundred percent convinced that this guy is a groomer that he entered into a relationship with a woman he wasn't interested in to get access to a girl that he was interested in. And just because it happened legally doesn't mean that it's morally okay. And if people want to defend that, that's their prerogative. But as far as I'm concerned, it's fucking gross. Um, but after having such terrible experiences with women, he has decided, fuck it, I'm just going to be a faggot, and I'm going to fuck dudes in the ass. I'm going to make them wear a dress so it ain't gay. Like, like how blacks are in prison. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with black people when they think like that. It ain't gay if, if she's wearing a dress. It ain't gay if she's hiding the... If she's tucked the banana between the legs... It ain't gay if you have the lights off and are watching anime at the time. You know, shit like that. The story ends, by the way, with um, Drexel hiding from us. After the Tranime shit was found, after this was found, after um, the creep shots in the, the mall were found, and then there's another creep shot where he's just sending um, pictures of, of a fat woman he saw at the, the store. Oh, here. 
He's in the store and he sees a picture of a fat woman and just takes a random picture of her. And, and again, he, Mr. Confidence over here, hi, literally hiding behind another aisle. Her back is turned to him. He's hiding behind the, uh, the canned sprays of insecticide on a different aisle. And he's still holding his camera in such a way that give him plausible deniability so that she's only in the corner of the shot. Just like a total fucking bitch hiding from this fat woman so that you can take creep shots of her and send it out to Discord. Like, hey, bro, look, a fat woman. Oh, do you live in America? Chances are if you walk out the fucking door, you're going to find a fat woman without any issue because half the country is that size. Um, but this guy, after all this shit gets dug out, he decides uh, retreat. Total retreat. Here's what we're going to do. Um, what was I... Oh, this is about the, the Troon as well. Drexel's open association with Troons is hardly a secret. He features one quite frequently in his podcast, and Nick himself is aware of this and apparently okay with it. Um, this is one of the first seemingly contradictory aspects of both their personas that I always thought was strange but brushed off at the time. In context, it now makes sense. So, his response to all this shit getting dug out is that he's now hiding. Um, he is saying that he's going to delete his Discord. The person who is taking the screenshot... Uh, and to screen out any rats, he calls the Kiwi Farms users that are taking pictures of his uh, shit in Discord rats, to screen them out in order to get invited to his Discord, you have to personally private message him and then prove that you're OG, you smash box, you respect the game, you hustle and grind, and uh, you love BBC. And then he'll give you an invite to his new secret Discord that rats aren't invited to. So he can continue to take creep shots of women and lust over trannies on, on Twitter. Uh, without other people making fun of him. And that's Drexel. That's the super cool guy. <laughs> that's the super cool guy who's figured women out and knows how to live his best life. You should totally follow his podcast, Migtown, and subscribe to him for life advice. Trust me, if you follow this, if you take, heed, heed this guy's takes and you live life as he does, you will be rewarded with the finest boy pussy on the planet. By the way, boy pussy that he's in a relationship with. He has a girlfriend, which I'm assuming that he's in a, a tran for tran relationship. So unless they're into an open relationship, he's like he's literally simping for a man in a dress that's already in a relationship that he might not be able to bust into if they're not open to open relationship stuff. Which is pretty ironic considering he calls everybody else on the fucking planet a simp for disagreeing with him in any way, shape, or form. What a nerd, chat. He's got a very tiny head.